And make sure you watch to the very, very end when there's a little surprise at the end when it comes to the smoke. Kind of shocking. I, I didn't expect it while I'm making this video. It's not a huge deal, but uh, yeah, it, it, it just shows you how, how odd this thing is. And uh, yeah, again, not a huge deal, but uh, stay tuned to the end. Hey, good day to everybody. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's doing good. Um, got, got another update for you all about the, regarding the line fire. So right now we are sitting right in front of Snow Summit and over here at Bear Mountain. It is an absolutely spectacular day today. Um, where I'm pointing the camera right now is where the fire is right behind that part of the mountain. And the wind is blowing pretty good, but it's blowing that way. So it's blowing the smoke and everything away from us. That's why we can't really see much right now. So that is fantastic news. We are gonna go around to take some looks from different locations, like back up over there, where we might, might be able to see more of what's going on, but you know what? I'm not trying to jinx myself, but this looks really, really, really good. And I am super, super excited about it. So I'm not gonna rest on my laurels this time. I'm not gonna be non-vigilant. I'm going to uh, keep it in the forefront of my mind this until it's completely out. But first good news is last night they ended up uh, actually sending some of the assets away because they didn't necessarily need them. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. That's a great sign. Also, right now we are at, let's see here. Let's see the line fire. 43,890 acres, right? And it's at 79% containment. Yesterday it was at 76% containment. And the previous couple days before that, we were all the way up to 83%, but it dropped all the way down to 76 and now jumping back up to 79. So that's fantastic. Evacuation orders are still Angeles Oaks and Seven Oaks. The, the warnings are still Boulder Bay area of the Big Bear Dam, east to Wild Rose Lane, the community of Big Bear Lake, including Moon Ridge, Sugarloaf, and South Irwin Lake. So the, the, the most up-to-date news is as follows. Let's see here. The current situation. Yesterday there was a high heat advisory over the fire area which will remain in effect today. The most active fire behavior continues to be along the Santa Ana River drainage with fire moving up the drainage to Sand Creek on the north and also near the community of Pine, Pine Zanita. Smoke may be visible to the community of Running Springs from from islands of fuel burning within the fire perimeter with no threat to the containment line, which is great. The fire remains active along the eastern flank in the Angeles Oaks area as the fire burned up to Highway 38 just north of Angeles Oaks. Firefighting resources continue to use a direct suppression tactic on the line fire as firefighters as firefighting resources continue to build containment lines along the fire's edge in an attempt to keep the fire within its current footprint. Crews will continue to access and extinguish fire in the Big Bear and Siberia Creek drainage when safe to do so in this very steep area with the support from water dropping helicopters. Monitor and patrol tactics along the western and southern edges of the fire perimeter. The closure orders for the forest remain in place per the line fires public information officer. And also guys just got some information today that Highway 38 is could possibly be closed all the way until November 30th. That's what I took from it, don't quote me on it. But that's exactly what I took from it. And what that means, you guys, is uh, the only way up here on the front side would be taking Waterman from San Bernardino, which turns into Highway 18, all the way along the mountain range to get here. So it's an extremely long drive. For the people who work right at the bottom of the mountain, that's absolutely brutal. And I am so sorry, I am so sorry. But again, do your research, check it out. What I saw was November 30th, and Highway 330 is, is, is gonna be closed about that, that length too. So we do have another way out of town, which is Highway 18 on the backside, but if you do take that route, you're gonna to have to drive around the whole entire mountain range just to get to the front. So for the people lucky enough to have business and work on the backside, uh, you're not affected at all. But I think a lot of people will be affected because as I told you guys, there are so many people up here who work down the bottom of the mountain. It's, uh, so this is a really tough, sad situation. Um, I don't want all these folks to have to waste all this money on gas and it's just absolutely brutal. So 
uh, prayers for sure. And also thank you guys for all the loving support that you guys are showing this channel. I'm doing the best I can. I know I'm technically no hero out here. I'm not out there fighting the fires. You guys have been so kind and so loving towards me. I'm doing the best I can to give you what I can give you with what I have. Um, and you guys mean the world to me. I love you guys with all my heart. I love this channel with all my heart and I'll continue doing the best job I can. Um, and yeah, just, uh, just please keep your thoughts and prayers going, you guys, um, especially for all the people down in it fighting this fire. Um, keep in mind, a lot of them have probably been away from their families for a while um, and sleeping in not the most comfortable situations, probably not eating what they want to eat all the time and just sacrificing for people like us that they don't even know, this beautiful community. Um, it's just, it's a, such a beauty that humanity is showing us. Um, sadly, it has to be through a lot of these devastating situations like hurricanes and floods and fires and earthquakes, but humanity really is something special. My feelings of being cynical have certainly gone away tremendously, um, and I'm trying to get my cynical thoughts of humanity completely out. And again, you guys with your beautiful comments and your beautiful support for everybody up here is just unbelievable. So anyway, we're going to go cruise over towards Stanfield Cutoff to get a better look at this whole situation. But this is the news. This is what's going on right now. I'm giving it to you guys directly from the fire authorities that are documenting and running this whole operation. Um, thank you guys again, and I'll click back on in a second. See you very shortly. All right, you guys, continuation. This is one of my, as you guys know by now, one of my favorite spots. Um, Fortunately, it's, it's a great spot to be able to see what we have remaining of this fire, or at least what the fire wants to show right now. Um, it really doesn't get much, much better in this area than this particular location to be able to see what's happening over there. So basically, as you can see straight ahead, or on the left-hand side, that's Snow Summit, as you guys are well aware of by now. And Right where that cloud is that I'm zooming in on, the fire's right below that cloud and moving that direction, the direction that I'm panning the camera. And it's super warm. It's in the mid to upper 80s right now, which is just insane for this area. Remember guys, we're just under 7,000 feet elevation right here. But I have to say, I am so blown away with the efforts that these firefighters and all those heroes are, are pulling off. It's fantastic. I'm, I just, it's just mind blowing to me. Okay, I, I don't know if you guys can see right there, but there is an aircraft in the very middle of the screen, about a half an inch above the top of the mountain right there, if you guys can see it. It just dropped something. Oh, so remarkable. It's, Gosh, it's amazing. But yeah, guys, <clears throat> remember, uh, we can't rest on our laurels. We can't, we can't basically put this out of our, our heads. What ended up happening about a week ago or so, guys, is things were doing so good up here that I actually, for maybe a day or two, wasn't even thinking about the fire at all. Didn't even cross my mind. I was thinking, my gosh, these heroes are so incredible. We have nothing to worry about. But deep, deep down, I was telling myself, don't think like that. Don't think like that. Because even though it's a certain amount contained, the winds can pick up and start to send embers forward, backwards, right, left, way ahead of what's already going on and start new fresh fires, which that's what was happening the past couple days. Um, and it got super, super bad really quickly. But again, they have been busting their tails to get this thing under control. As I said, it's back up to 79% containment area. Um, I don't smell any smoke in town whatsoever, but it is just on the other side right there. It's, it, it's right there. So uh, again, because we have the winds blowing that direction right now, it's probably keeping the smoke down and that direction. So we're not getting any of it um, at the moment, knock on wood. But uh, yeah, for the last time on today's video, thank you firefighters and everyone involved in the logistics for 
for just handling this darn fire. You guys are incredible people. Um, if anybody knows on this channel of where people can help to support these firefighters out there, send donations or just send lunch or, or anything like that, please let me know so I can post it in the community section of this channel. Um, these people are amazing. Well, anyway, best update we've had in quite a few days. I'm very, very grateful for that. And once again, grateful for each and every single one of you. I hope those of you who are new here, here because of the fire, will end up sticking around for what the channel's all about, which is its wintertime videos. I'm known for making my videos of the snowfall in this beautiful Southern California mountain range. And I'd be honored if you guys stuck around and supported the channel from that point too. That'd be great. I think you'll enjoy it because it's really beautiful and I put myself out there. I drive in the worst possible snowy conditions you can imagine. And again, I would just love to have you guys there with me. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, thanks again. So much love for you guys and uh, just have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out and uh, thoughts and prayers keep on going. Hopefully these updates continue to be like they are today. And hopefully soon we won't make any more updates. But uh, yeah, cheers. I love you guys. And thank you again. Only smiles right now, guys. Only smiles. Well, folks, I thought the video was over, but as I'm leaving this spot, look, look what just decided to pop up right there. A big cloud of smoke. So since we couldn't see it, it's making people feel really good. But as you see right now, there's some smoke now. This whole video that we just did, it was beautiful right there. And as I'm leaving, this happens. But just so you guys know, that's what's happening up here. Um, and again, thank you guys for everything. Sorry for being all over the place with these darn videos. But yeah, unreal, man. It literally, as soon as I started my car, it started just to rise up like that. Craziness.